Hi everybody, Amazing Zane here. First off, I wanted to apologize for not posting last week, but I just couldn't think of a video idea. However, in my last upload, we covered some really awesome LEGO Marvel for 2025, and I'm happy to announce that we have even more awesome leaks to cover today, including a few bonus ones for DC. The first and most surprising leak we have is for the first official set for the Spider-Verse films. Now, this was a leak from a while back, but I didn't cover it in my last video because I didn't think it was very likely to happen. But from what we can see here, there's not much except a building facade and a police car, probably meant to be based off the scene where Miles Morales first fights the spot. Speaking of which, we get our first minifigures of Spider-Verse Miles and the spot, along with Miles' father, Jefferson Davis. The print quality on the spot is actually pretty good, and while arm printing would have been okay, it's not really necessary, and I'm just thankful he's got leg printing. From this image, it looks like Spider-Gwen might be in the set too, although since the one we've been getting is already based off those films, they'll probably just reuse it. The next two sets are kind of weird for reasons I'll explain later, but this Iron Man car set here has figures of Black Panther, Iron Man, who looks the same as the one from a junior set from last year. And we also get a new Red Hulk, probably because of Captain America Brave New World. Unfortunately, he is a minifigure and not a big fig. Plus, I don't like that face print too much. It looks weird, and the set itself doesn't make much sense. Another leaked set is the Spider-Man Venom car, which is the reason I said the last set was weird. It seems LEGO has been giving Spider-Man characters an oversized car set, starting with Miles Morales in 2023. This year we got one for Peter Parker, and now it looks like we're getting Venom and Iron Man cars too. I think it made sense to produce them for Spider-Man because that's what makes LEGO the most money, but with Iron Man it seems like a cash grab. At least the minifigures for the Venom car include Spider-Girl, who hasn't gotten a minifigure since 2020. Moving on to a set which has a more HD look at its minifigures, we have an Iron Man mech including Ultron. Once again, the Iron Man figure is the same as the one in the car set, but it does have the two-part helmet. The Ultron figure, on the other hand, looks really good and brings back that neck part from the 2015 Age of Ultron sets. However, this one seems to be based more on the comics rather than the films, which is okay, but I still wish we got a new movie Ultron, especially since he's confirmed to return in that Vision Quest show Marvel's developing. As for the mech included in this set, it looks okay. We can't really tell much from this quality of an image, but I think that the legs have those new mech leg molds in gold, which is interesting to see. Well, this is a surprise. I just learned about these leaks a few hours before uploading this video. Here we have official pictures of sets for Captain America Brave New World, starting with the Captain America vs. Red Hulk battle set, retailing for $55, which is a bit hefty for price tag, but the minifigures make up for it. We get a new Sam Wilson Captain America, which looks pretty good, but I prefer the CMF one for the amount of printing, along with the new MCU Falcon, Joaquin Torres. The printing looks good in the photos on the head, but I'm worried that it's going to be discolored on the physical minifigures. There's also a new Red Hulk big fig, which I'm really happy about, and it uses the new body with a removable head and hair, much better than that minifigure Red Hulk we looked at earlier. And surprisingly, LEGO put Ruth Batsaraf in this set, sorry if I mispronounced it. Now these figures all look great, however, I feel like we should have gotten a figure of the leader or whoever John Carlo Esposito is playing. The jet book looks okay, but probably won't be in the film, so let's move on to the other Brave New World set, the new Captain America construction figure, retailing for $35, and both these sets release on December 1st. I don't really find interest in this Marvel sub theme, but it looks alright, and I like the fabric wings. They probably could have brick built it, but I assume that they didn't, so it wouldn't be too top heavy. And finally, the bonus leaks for the DC include three sets, starting with a 4 plus set of the Batmobile and Mr. Freeze. Like that's new. We get a Batman 4 plus set every year, and I know that that's because Batman is a guaranteed success and DC thinks the same way, but this isn't really worth talking about. It's just the same thing we get every single year. However, we are also getting a new Tumblr set featuring a new version of Heath Ledger's Joker and the first ever minifigure of Aaron Eckhart's Two-Face. This is the first Two-Face minifigure since 2019, and he has a new hair mold, but unfortunately no leg printing, which kind of breaks the duality theme this minifigure had until the legs. But the real kicker of LEGO DC leaks was a new leak set of a Superman mech, including new versions of Superman and Lex Luthor. Now I'm not a DC fan, but I know LEGO DC fans will make sure this set sells out in stores. It has been five years since the last Superman minifigure, and with the new movie coming out next year, it looks like LEGO DC might finally be great again. Both Superman and Lex Luthor have new printing, and these minifigures look phenomenal. 
Wish Superman had something going on with his leg, but one can easily swap out the blue hips for red ones to represent the shorts he wears. So these looks might not be as groundbreaking as the ones I covered in the last video, but they're still awesome, especially the Superman and Superman leaks. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!